All right, Canada, here's the latest news in government conspiracies for you. The Conservative government is yet again wasting our hard-earned tax dollars spreading their propaganda online. It has recently been exposed in the media that the Conservative government has spent $75,000 of your money to hire a social media firm to monitor our comments about the commercial seal hunt online. If they think that these tactics are going to scare people like me who are trying to spread the truth about the seal hunt off, they are totally wrong. So Canada, if I go missing, why don't you blame Harper's Conservatives? Anyway, this firm is being paid to spew out whatever the government wants them to say regarding the hunt while posing as everyday Canadians with opinions. The Conservatives say that they feel the need to counteract the misinformation that is being put out there online. I have several things to say about this. First of all, is Canada really a police state? This sounds like something the Chinese government would do. What is going on here, Canada? We should be outraged by this. Talk about censorship and control online, where we're supposed to be free to express our opinions without government trying to control the message. But this is not a new idea for the Conservative government, is it? Stephen Harper won't address any question in a press conference that hasn't already been approved by his people. This infringes on our basic rights as Canadians. Ever heard of freedom of speech? Well, not anymore, Canada. Even the word misinformation comes straight out of the George Orwell book 1984, where the Big Brother government controls all messages put out into the media. The thing is, is they can't silence the truth, because the truth is already out there. If anyone is spreading misinformation about the commercial seal hunt, it is in fact our government. They call the hunt sustainable, and this really makes me laugh. It seems to be their favorite get-out-of-jail-free card that they pull out whenever their decisions are questioned by the media or anyone else. They never give examples or go into detail. They just hide behind that magical word, sustainable. I'll be talking about this year's hunt to see just how sustainable it really is and what kind of misinformation our own government is feeding us. Please subscribe, Canada.